Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to the video. So today I'm back here with another speed build and today we're doing something a little bit different actually. Um, I'm probably here to embarrass myself because I'm pretty sure this is going to turn out terribly. But today I'm doing the 10,000 simoleon house building challenge. Now I actually saw Starlight Sims aka Whitney here on YouTube. She was talking on Twitter about building a house for 10,000 simoleons for her 100 baby challenge. And I thought it'd be a really, really fun idea to do as just a general video. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to be tagging my two friends spring sims and x urban sims x aka steven and jen because i think they well those two are really really good builders so i'd love to see what they come up with with this um so i'd love to see what they come up with and i'm tagging everybody else as well because I, if you want to do this then just let me know because i'd love to see what you come up with as well so um this took me probably nearly uh, say about 50 odd minutes it wasn't that long really and um, which is kind of understandable for this house um, and this was a huge huge challenge we end up leaving with three simoleon spare this is on the gallery you can head over to my origin id which is real thomas tv one and you can go ahead and download this for yourself um and it came out at 9997 simoleons i just wanted to make sure i could use as much money as possible to make this the best house i could get it to um but let me know what you thought about this because i thought well what I actually did is I did this house yesterday um, and I uploaded it and everything. I did the voiceover. I had it up ready to schedule to go up today. And then I was looking back at it this morning and I was like, this is honestly too embarrassing to put up on YouTube. So I actually recorded the whole thing again today um, and I just wanted to improve myself because I thought I could have done a lot better. And what The problem I did was I made the house too big so there's a lot of empty space and that just used up a load of simoleons and then I had to like, then there was just big gaps in the house and I didn't think it looked right. So with this house, I made sure not to make that mistake and I made it a lot more smaller just so there was less space to fill, if you know what I mean. Um, the living room is pretty cramped actually, but you know, I had to make it small, otherwise we wouldn't have enough money to do everything. Now, um, I struggled a little bit with the landscaping because that was just the last thing at the end. I didn't want to go overkill at the start and then you know, have to go back and delete it all. So I left that to the end because I didn't think it was as important as the stuff inside. Um, so there's only a couple of plants outside actually, um, but there are a couple of trees around the area as well. I made sure I used um, good use of terrain paints because you know those are free, so you might as well use them. So I used those ones which are grass which had the little flowers in i used those around the house i also used the stone um terrain paint as the path and i also used the dirt terrain paint around the plants and things and i also like to do this which you'll see me do in probably a minute or two is i get the dirt terrain paint and i go around the house i just think it adds a little more detail and just makes everything stand out if you know what i mean um so the one mistake i made with this house in terms of the money going down quickly was using expensive paintings so if you're going to do this try to use the least expensive paintings as possible um and yeah so another thing that i wasn't really too fond of was that at the front here it kind of doesn't look right because there's only one window if you know what I mean so if you look at it from front view it's only one window and um, so where I put that chair I wanted another window there but that's where the bathroom is so I was in a little bit of a pickle and um, I think the screen does cut around now because I did do this like I had a break in between as you'll see there is a window right there and um, I just couldn't find a window where I wanted that to be I, what I did is actually I changed the kitchen and the bathroom around off screen um, and then I uh, tried to adjust things, but just made a whole mess of stuff. So I just left it how it was and found that window. Uh, for the window, that bigger one that we just put in the uh, bathroom just then at the front, um, I had a little bit of trouble trying to find a curtain for it, um, but I did find one at the end. Um, and as you can see there, I was trying to change around the bedroom by just putting in one single bed, because, uh, I mean, only one sim could really live here. Well, actually, no, the two sims could, because there's a double bed. Um, and, yeah, also another trick I learned is that with the double beds, you can actually have them up across the bed. I, across, oh my god, across the wall, um, next to the wall, so the other person can actually like scoot across the bed to the other side, which I think is really, really cool. I never knew that happened once, but I saw like a video of somebody doing that and I thought, oh, okay, that's a good trick for saving space and speed builds from now on. Um, the bathroom is pretty simple. For everything in this house, there's kind of the lowest amount, um, the like the cheapest version of everything I could use. Um, the TV is pretty small. I tried to scale it up, which you might have seen towards the beginning of the build, um, but I did scale it down because I thought it looked a little bit too big. Um, but anyway, we're here at the screenshots now, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you haven't, let me know with what you thought of the house. I think I just said that. <laughs> you can go ahead and download it from the gallery. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one Again, you can do it yourself, and I'm tagging Jen and Steven. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!